All right, fellas, I am proud to officially announce the most hardcore gym I've been to, and it ain't hardcore just because of the freaking machines, okay? They got the cattle compounds and the smut on the wall. They are not afraid to say, hey, we're juiced up and we are proud of it. Fella, we are in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. Okay, this footage was taken August 31st, okay? The hardcore streets of Philly at none other than Body World Gym, okay? The entrance is a freaking door in the side of an alley, and when you push that sucker open, it leads to a broken, crickety down stairwell. I wasn't even sure this was the entrance to get into the gym, but sure enough, I went up there and voila, guys, this gym, when I say it's freaking hardcore, the wallpaper is magazine scraps from bodybuilding magazines, uh, cattle compounds, freaking, I think there was like, a magazine called bazookas up on the wall or something it's just i mean this gym guys is they don't make the gyms like this anymore because let's be honest in today's age of 2024 this gym would would be canceled but the interesting thing is it is 2024 and this gym is up and running and it's freaking it's it's heavy duty it is for serious hoisting of the steel these machines don't even have freaking brand names on them. It's like some just grizzled man welded these machines in his freaking backyard, brought them upstairs into the attic, clipped a bunch of freaking pictures from his favorite magazines and threw them on the wall. Look at this stuff though, guys. This, <laughs> these machines are freaking heavy duty. And look at that lighting. Look, capturing the bicep flex. Okay, it's good. It's got the lighting of a basement. You know, just a couple overhead lights. Look at this freaking donkey calf raise. Holy buckets. You don't see machines like that. You don't see those machines anywhere. Look at all those newspaper. Look at those freaking magazine pictures. How many magazines did this owner cut to create this gym? Okay, here's the kicker with these machines, guys. Here's another calf raise. It has a horn to put plates on it on top of the freaking full stack, which goes up to 800 pounds. So they don't make machines like this anymore, guys. 800 pound stack, plus you can load up the 45s on top of it. This is for some thick Johnny Horsecock bulbous calves. Holy buckets. Uh, oh, the whole theme of this gym is just everything's just extremely heavy duty okay and i talked to the owner of this gym and the guy was super cool i can't remember his name because again this was back in august 31st don't ask me why i waited damn near half a year to upload this footage i just figured it's special and i have to release it when the time is right and the time is officially right but this is uh he was telling me because at the time he was asking me what i was doing in town for and i said wwe had a show i was part of wwe he said that uh, the likes of freaking the Ultimate Warrior and Lex Luger and stuff would come to this gym and just horse serious weights. Like, I think he was saying Lex Luger would freaking, he was squatting, you know, five plates for reps or something like that. Which, uh, again, I mean, back in the day when the men were the men, I don't think my entire time being in WWE, I don't think I ever saw one other single wrestler ever train their legs the entire time I was there. And that's, that's literally, I'm not saying that for jokes or anything. I don't think not once did I see another person training their legs. So they just, back in the day, I mean, <laughs> the men were men. You know what I mean? They just ain't like that anymore. But thankfully, this gym is a, it's a freaking um, petrified classic. Does that make any sense? Like it is cemented, fossilized for our viewing. Look at how heavy duty this back extension machine is. Again, I don't see a name on here. I just see an entire roll of duct tape freaking securing that pad so that it doesn't explode into the oblivion. I see a pair of dip handles made from a welder's house. I see 190 pound dumbbells, which let's be honest, I bet they had 200s. I bet some freaking absolute horse just tossed those suckers, broke them, probably. Because what gym only goes up to 190? If you're at 190, you might as well get the 200s, you know? 
Look at this freaking dip machine. Look at the welding on this. Look at the craftsmanship. I like that there's no freaking brand. It doesn't matter the freaking brand, okay? What matters is the serious steel and the freaking magazine clippings. I mean, I just like that this is, the decorations are just magazine ads from, you know, 1970. Uh, anyways, I figured, I don't know, I, I guess I was like, well, I got the tour, let's horse this dip machine to see how it feels. And the funny thing is, like, uh, Hammer Strength has a very similar machine to this, and I even owned it. It was the size of a minivan. I had it in my garage for many years. But each machine has its own personality. So I had to try this sucker out. Look at those classic York plates. You know, this tells me you got the York plates. You have the no-name equipment. You have the magazine clippings from the 70s, from the 80s, from the bazooka magazines, okay? Like, th this stuff is literally from back in the day with no updating. And that's exactly what I love. Look at the freaking, look at the magazine clippings. Look at the artwork. Is that Conan the Barbarian? You know what I'm saying? You know, Body World Fitness, right? With the freaking Conan. Anything that has a Conan imagery on it, Bill Kazmaier, like anything that's endorsed by Bill Kazmaier is hardcore. Look at the bench with, again, once an entire freaking roll of duct tape holding it together. Look at the chains. It's adjustable, guys. Commercial gyms, commercial benches at the gyms, you can't freaking adjust the benches. They're all in the worst positions possible. And it's just you have to make do with it or not use it. Look at this freaking rack pull rack, basically, just for none other than doing just horse cock rack pulls, you know, or bent over rows, or I'm sure you can do stiff like a deep deficit stiff like a deadlifts on that sucker. Look at these iron plates, these York iron plates right? They're thin. They're freaking steel. They clang. They bang. They give you that euphoric sense of that feeling that you, when you hear the plates clanking, it's addicting. It's a, it's a freaking blast of dopamine to your brain, right? Look at how many holes you have in the incline bench. You can, it's that like most incline benches now, it's like 15, 30, 45, 60, 75, 90. With this one, you have 70 holes. So it's like every degree. Look at the heavy duty incline, the bench that the spotter can stand on. And again, it's adjustable. Have you ever seen an incline bench that has 70 holes? Look at how frick, look at the padding, how stout and the duct tape on the padding of this decline bench. I would be confident pressing 3,000 pounds on that bench and I guarantee it's not falling apart. Look at that. I like that. I've never seen that before. An adjustable foot plate for um, a seated military press. And look at all those freaking holes you can adjust it by. That is what gyms are missing. Now it's just one setting. And it's like, oh, this kind of feels like shit. I guess I'll just never use it. Look at how thick and girthy that pad is with the duct tape. Look at how thick that is. Okay? It's not like it's not made for pleasure. It's made for freaking use and abuse. Okay? I don't even know what I'm pointing at here. Just some handles. I guess there's nothing special there. But at the time, it must have gotten my spidey senses tingling. There's nothing special about that rope. I don't know why I zoomed in on that. Okay? This is just standard plates. I don't know why I zoomed in on that. But look at the steel. Look at how thick all the steel is. This is heavy-duty stuff. I don't know why I'm zooming in on this. I apologize for that, guys. That's There's nothing special about that that at least I'm aware of. Okay, I mean, I love all the no-name heavy-duty stuff. Unfortunately, here's Rogue, you know, freaking very well-known popular brand. Unfortunate, but it's a reverse hyper. You can't knock that. I like that. A whole roll of duct tape, once again, on that used and abused uh, preacher curl machine. Look at the freaking view. A view. None other than the freaking uh, alley. Get the alley view of the concrete jungle. There's no beauty to be seen looking out the windows. It's concrete. It's cement. It's pavement. Right? It's just people grinding day-to-day -day life, driving their broken down cars. Right? It's real life. It's gritty. You're not looking out there to a yoga retreat, to meditation trees and bushes. You're just seeing cold, hard concrete. Right? And that's freaking body world for you. This is real. There's no colors in this gym other than that Conan the Barbarian body world poster. Everything here is just freaking black and gray. 
steel. The only colors you get are from the Bazooka magazine, you know, taped up on the wall. Right? Look at that. Look at that freaking 90 degree back extension. How thick and girthy that thing is. Look at the. I love how every single piece of upholstery here is just bulletproof with duct tape. I bet that freaking lap pull down felt good. You know, what do we got up to there? We got 400 pounds or so. You know, they don't make them like that anymore. Again, I always get a kick. Yeah, 400 pounds. I get a kick of how they don't make machines as heavy as they used to. Again, guys. That freaking uh, calf raise I should, look at the decline on that sucker. Holy buckets. A negative 90 degree decline bench. So deep. Like that's, you might, I mean, that's like an inversion table, but a decline bench. Can you imagine benching on that sucker? Doing an upside down dip. Holy buckets. Look at the plate stack on that. 300 pounds on the lower back machine. And we got a classic duct tape leg extension. This is just heavy duty stuff, guys. I mean, what did I zoom? 400 pounds. Okay. I think I zoomed in on this to prove my point that just everything, all these machines, it's like if you're going to do it, freaking move 800 pounds. You know what I mean? We're not going to make a machine where you're limited, which now that's what they do. All the machines, you can max out the machines after a year of you know, experience lifting in the gym, you can go like, yeah, I've been lifting for one year and you can max out the machine. It's not a freaking, you know, body world. You want to max out the machines? You better have the calves of a bull to freaking horse cock 800 pounds plus eight forty fives added on top of that. Uh, just a heavy duty power rack. I don't, again, I don't know why I'm showing that in all honesty. I am very impressed with this incline bench. Adjustable seat. Adjustable freaking, you know, J-hooks for maximum comfort with unracking the weight. Here's the freaking heavy-duty dip station. It's just rusted. You know what I mean? There's nothing clean and pristine about it. There's no shimmer. There's no shine. It's just gritty. Just freaking gritty in here, guys. I don't know what I'm pointing at at this point. Uh, I guess here I was testing out the lighting again. This is about six months ago or so. I was probably 10 pounds heavier at the time, but I, I look worse and I look smaller. And guys, this is proves the point. If size is the prize and you're obsessed with thick rotund girth, just understand that the bigger you get, as you lose that definition, you actually look smaller on camera. Okay. Uh, a Zercher harness. I mean, <laughs> Bravo. Absolutely bravo. Look at this step up step. Or, you know, you could use that for boxes, for squats. Look at how freaking heavy duty that is. That thing, I swear, that step up box could probably handle holding up a bridge.